Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amanda Matthews, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator here at Advisacon. I'd like to welcome you all to today's webinar, Best Practices in Managing Projects with OneNote. Here at Advisacon, we are a group of authors, teachers, consultants, and technologists who are passionate about helping your organization learn, scale, and grow with a mix of methodology and technology to deliver results. We offer training for the Microsoft technologies such as Project Office 365, Power BI, Visio, and SharePoint, as well as project management and methodology. With attending any of our training sessions, we offer PDUs as we are a registered education provider with the Project Management Institute. At the close of today's session, I will give some instructions on how you can claim those PDUs and how to get in contact with Advisacon for any questions you may have. Now, before we get started, I'd like to go over a few things so you know how to participate in today's event. If you please review your control panel, that should be on the top right of your screen. The audience is muted during this session, so in order to ask a question, you will need to submit them in the questions window of the control panel. This webinar will be recorded and uploaded to the Advisacon YouTube channel for those who could not attend today's session live. Please note that any questions or comments submitted will not be displayed in the recording, nor will any of your personal information be shared. And it is now my pleasure to introduce our presenter today, Richard Wentworth. He is our senior project advisor. So without further ado, I will hand this presentation over and we can get started. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome again to Webinar Wednesday. Uh, I am excited to have the opportunity to talk to you today about one of the tools that I use every day, and that is Microsoft OneNote. Uh, it's a key tool in Microsoft Office and Office 365 suite. And I'm hoping that today at uh, some of you that are on the call, if you've used it previously, hopefully I can provide you with a few new tips or some, show you some cool features that maybe you haven't tried yet or used before. And uh, if any of you who have never used OneNote, then hopefully I can get you on the, on the right path to start using the tool both uh, efficiently and, and effectively. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Uh, before we get into the discussion, and I'm going to basically get away from PowerPoint and, and go right to the tool, because why, why would I do one of these without showing the actual application? Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to just do a quick poll, uh, sort of a poll question, and, uh, and see how many of you on the call have actually, um, you know, have used OneNote uh, to some degree at all. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a poll right now and give you a few minutes to go ahead and answer that and we'll see what kind of responses come out so we're coming in got a lot of people using it daily got a whole mixture of coming in now so that's good well, hopefully we'll be able to give you <clears throat> some tips on how to use some of the cool features we talked about so great okay looks like that's about uh, most people on the call so I'll go ahead and close that up. Thank you very much for answering those. Okay, so in terms of the agenda for the call today, uh, we'll walk through the some OneNote fundamentals. So if you've never used OneNote before, you'll see how you can bounce around and do various things. So you get an idea of uh, how you can set up your OneNote and start doing things. Uh, also talk about some cool features. So for those of you that uh, have used it before, maybe there's some features that you've uh, maybe dabbled in a little bit um, or you want to uh, check out or maybe you've never seen them before. So we'll talk about that. And then uh, we'll also we'll end it there with talking about accessibility. So how you can access it, various ways you can access uh, OneNote, um, desktop, cloud, Teams, what have you. So we'll go through that a little bit. Uh, and at the end, uh, I'll leave some time for us to uh, answer some actually get I asked some questions and uh, hope to give some input. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to change my screen here. I'm going to bounce over to the OneNote. Okay. So um, I typically use, this is the more of the desktop version. So this is the 2016 version at the moment. Um, so with the release 2000, 2019, I'll be able to use that pretty soon. Uh, um, and sometimes I hop between the, the online version as well. So you can see in my taskbar, I actually have uh, two different icons here. So for the most part, uh, I'm, uh, I'm an old school guy. So I like to do some of that um, on the desktop piece. So what we'll go through today 
is uh, I've got a series of things to talk about. Um, you'll see I love images with my presentation, so I give it a little idea of what we're going to go through today. So I want to start with just a quick overview. Um, I was introduced to OneNote. I, pro I started incorporating it into my uh, my project management uh, experience probably about I don't know, 10 years ago, and uh, and really uh, found out the power. I wish I wish that. It's, an application that I would have had available to me when I was in college. I won't get into how old I am, but um, it's certainly uh, it's a very powerful tool that I've been able to apply in my professional career uh, and use. In fact, right before this call, I was with a customer meeting and, and documenting lots of notes in my OneNote application. So um, I'm hoping that those of you that use it daily probably uh, share the same uh, the same belief. And uh, for those of you that maybe don't use it, maybe you'll start to start to use it more. So, um, but with with OneNote, it's uh, one notable tool to use, and uh, provides you really the ability to, to stay highly organized. Uh, it allows collaboration uh, amongst uh, amongst your team members and stakeholders. Uh, obviously, you can uh, enable it with OneDrive. So everything that I do, uh, I sync everything with OneDrive, so it's accessible everywhere. Um, you're able to easily share OneNote, so you can share notebooks with your stakeholders, your colleagues. Uh, you can share individual meeting notes. Um, very, very easy to collaborate. Um, people can edit notes at the same time. Uh, very, very smart. Uh, uh, synchronization, so you can have a series of notebooks. Uh, when, in our case, we have lots of different notebooks associated with uh, our every single customer. So you can actually bring those in and set up synchronization uh, in your OneNote to synchronize all those various uh, OneNote notebooks. It's a great time saver. So you're able to go ahead and take your notes and as soon as you're in a meeting, you can click send and share them and uh, shoot them off and you don't have to sit there and follow up and look through all your notes and uh, and worry if you got the, actually got them out in, the, in a, uh, uh, enough time. So very, very good time saver. And then finally, like I said, accessibility. You can access these things anywhere, uh, especially with Office 365 and the cloud, going to OneNote.com. Uh, as we'll show you, it's uh, very easy to get to them and share them. So, so again, all right, so fundamentals. So notebooks. So you can see, if you go up here, um, I'm going to put while on my cursor, and you click down this little piece here, it gives you access to a variety of notebooks. So. Um, you can have your uh, company notebook like I have, or I store lots of company uh, client customer information. I have a personal notebook, and you'll see right now I don't really have it synchronized, but I have a personal notebook here as well as uh, my one at home. Uh, we have this notebook right here, which is one that I just quickly set up for the sake of this demo, sales notebooks, teams. So a uh, variety of notebooks. You can easily add a notebook uh, right here. So you can go in here and actually add notebooks very easily. Uh, you can obviously, you can also go and uh, open other notebooks that are already, I think, so you can go up here and find and browse for notebooks that you have available. So very simple to do that. Uh, and finally, you can also um, create this concept on just quick notes, which I'll get into a little bit later, but very easy for you to either click here or doing a keyboard shortcut and you can immediately uh, open note window and take notes uh, on the fly. All right, so I want to go through and talk about quickly just the, you know, the the anatomy of these notebooks and stuff. So you have the fundamental notebook, you have basically you have sections, and then you have pages. So it's very easy to add new new sections here uh, for whatever you need. I, I typically have mine. I have my customers across all my various sections for my company uh, my company notebook, and then I keep all my various pages for their various meetings that I have that could I can do. So you have your notebook, your sections, and your pages. And so you're able to easily create those and go through. And again, I see you also have your quick notes too. So when you do that keyboard shortcut, the quick notes will easily appear as well. So you can note those each time. You have uh, copying. So obviously you can, it's very easy to move and search. So if you look at the search capability, when you have, this is a very powerful feature, when you are actually uh, managing lots of multiple notebooks, the power of this allows you to go through and type a word uh, that might be the case here. And you could type in team, and this is going to actually search. So you basically go into this little search box right here and type in a key 
keyword, and it's going to search across all the various notebooks that you are connected to. So very easy to go all the way across and see which ones uh, are mapped to. So very powerful way to search for anything. If you're in a bind, you need to quit, find something quickly for, for, for an executive, uh, whatever the case may be, you can quickly use that search capability. Um, very powerful to do that. Uh, let's see, what else? Tagging. Tagging is very important. I, I love tagging. One of the ones that's most popular for me is uh, is actually the, the to-do lists that I create when I'm actually taking my notes. Um, so we can go in here and if you pull up here, you see the various tag window up here. You have the to-do tag, which is uh, a very large button on the ribbon, something that I use constantly. But if you go ahead and, uh, and select all these, you can see various tags that you can set up and assign as you're taking your notes. So for any of these, for example, I could go through and put a check mark here and say to do, and I quickly put a to do tab uh, right next to your uh, next to your uh, text. And you can use that as a vehicle. Obviously, when you've created that task, you can go through and quickly check mark it that your task is done. And when you have a whole series of those on a page, again, it's very easy to go through what you've accomplished and what's what's still left. And obviously, you can toggle those off. So a whole series of different tags you can go through. Um, you can set up uh, links to meetings, reminders to call back, scheduling meetings, um, highlighting tags, uh, flagging questions. So in the course of your notes, if you have a question or questions or raised, you can easily flag those and go through. So very easy when you're distributing these notes to your colleagues, uh, easy for you to go ahead and, and organize your notes, basically. So uh, we talked about search, uh, so sharing your notes. A variety of ways you can share notes. Uh, if you look at the ribbon, we have the email a page. Now I'll preface this by saying uh, right now I have something's going on with my action machine where my Outlook and OneNote aren't really behaving very well together. So um, I won't be able to actually demonstrate this on the call today, but I encourage you to go, out, go ahead and set that up uh, Try it on your own. Uh, one thing you can do is you can obviously email this page that needs a copy of all your notes to any of your colleagues. Um, that's one way of doing it. You can actually go to what we call the backstage and the backstage you click on the file and in here and obviously you can go share right here and it gives you a variety of options you can share with, with people. Uh, you can get a sharing link basically so you can have distribute view links or edit links uh, share with the meeting. So if you actually have a meeting and uh, we will actually share the notes with all the meeting attendees. Uh, so a variety of things you can do here with, uh, with sharing a notebook and doing that or your notes from a particular meeting. So page templates. Now, page templates is a variety of things. I'm, I'm usually pretty boring uh, with how I take my notes, uh, but there's a variety of page templates that are available to you. So if you go up here into the ribbon again, and if you click on the insert, uh, and then if you scroll over to the right, you'll see page templates. So uh, you get a series of ones that are immediately here available. Um, but then if you go ahead and just click on page templates, it's going to activate a little fly out here. And within a fly out, you're going to see a variety of different options that you can choose from. I'm going to move my little go to me, go to webinar window here. Um, and uh, what you'll see is a variety of academic blank, very variety of business templates uh, that you have available. So if you click on any of these, it's going to go ahead and generate a new page. So you can see how the template itself changes. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually create um, a new page down here in your right column right there. So variety of templates, you can go ahead and um, formal meeting notes, you can use those, exactly. So uh, all these pre-structured templates you can take advantage of um, when, uh, when when doing your OneNote. So um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty boring, pretty conservative guy. I usually just go with, with what I know and I use, I heavily used a lot of the tags uh, on my side to organize my notes, um, but there's a variety of things. And then you can obviously, you can set it up. You can set up a default template if you wish. So there's a series of defaults templates. So if you scroll down on this fly out window, uh, there's a variety of number of templates you can use by default and set that up that every time you generate a new OneNote, it's going to use that template. Um, or you can create a new template. You can save the current page. So if you actually go ahead and, uh, and create a new template of your own uh, and you want to save that and use that for the future, then you can do that just by basically saving this current page as a template. So um, a variety of things you can do from a, from a template perspective. 
Okay, so let me toggle back to this right here. And uh, let's see here, go back to up here. All right. <clears throat> All right, drawing. So drawing is, drawing is fun. So if you click on the draw and the ribbon, um, this will allow you, give you ability to uh, quickly do, you can actually activate a pen uh, and you can circle text and call things out. You can say, I love OneNote. And if you honestly, if you have a pen, um, that's much easier than me trying to use my uh, my uh, mouse here. But a lot of things, um, if any of you are familiar with another another tool that we have, we use commonly is Zoom it. Um, but this will give you a similar experience where you can call things out. Um, so you can do that. You can obviously you can highlight text uh, in here using the highlighter. Uh, right here, so you can highlight things easily, call things out. Uh, like that so the highlighter is useful we have this thing uh, the lassoing text so if you go through and uh, lasso in the text this actually will grab text and allow you to move things around if you actually pan it and move it around you can move things around so a variety of things you can do there from last uh, selecting the text with the lasso um, and uh, erasing text but I think you could do so pretty fun, pretty fun things you could do to really dress up your notes and do things. All right. Now, some of the other features that we have uh, in there that um, I think are kind of cool and maybe you're not always using. Uh, so you have the quick notes option. So quick notes, if you go ahead and click on the Windows key uh, on your keyboard uh, with the letter N, it's basically going to launch the quick note window. So you can actually go ahead and quickly type a note like I love keyboard shortcuts because uh, um, they're so much easier and then go ahead and do that so that's going to go ahead and save in your quick notes tab and then you see the quick notes so um, if you are on the fly and you just need to capture a quick note um, very easy to use the quick notes feature you obviously you can also scroll down to if you follow my cursor down here you can follow it down to your taskbar and you'll also see a little quick note icon so you can easily go ahead and there's the new quick note option if you right click and there's other options here actually opening one note uh, screen clippings which i'll get into in a little bit um, they are uh, pretty cool options you can do so uh, very easy to create uh, create the notes password protection so let's say hey, you have um, some sensitive data uh, that you've collected or pulled in for the course of your meeting or, or anything and you're using that OneNote to store some of that data. Um, maybe you have some financial data that's uh, that's secure. You want to keep it that's secure. You can easily go and secure one of these tabs. So if you go, you can actually, a number of ways, you can click on this. So you right click on these sections. You can say, let me password protect this section. So you click on that. And again, and that will generate another fly out here. And allows you to set a password. So you can go ahead and set the password and let's see if I can do that right here. So the window is hidden on me. And so you can go ahead and do this. And you can go ahead and do that. And that is going to go ahead and, well, that didn't do that. Okay. For some reason that might be interfered with that. Well, it's not showing here, but what you can do is you can actually go ahead and lock this page and it'll prevent you from seeing any of the information. So I'm not quite sure why that did, but uh, what I encourage you to do is go ahead and try that on your side and you'll get a different user experience. I'm not I'm quite sure why that blocked me right there. It could be the go to webinar. Uh, but again, all you have to do is you can go and uh, click password protect this section as an option uh, to go ahead and do that. So Let's go back here. What else can we do? Uh, the docked note taking. So I like this feature. So well, many of you have seen when you have multiple windows open and you're trying to, maybe you're working on a laptop and you have to have uh, splitting the, the real estate between the notes you have and let's say a browser window. So it's very nice to go and go into the view button and you can see view docked window. And what that does, you can see the experience here where it actually moved and created almost split my screen in half. So in this case, I could go ahead and I could launch, 
launch this, active launch, let's do this, launch an Explorer browser and bring this up. And so you can easily toggle between uh, your application, your browser, or any application you want and go back and forth. And so as you type notes in this view, obviously it'll go back and it will restore the information to your OneNote view. So if I click on this at the top, uh, you can restore, or you can click on this little arrow up top here for normal view, and it takes you back uh, to your original view uh, of OneNote. So um, very easy to use, okay? What else we have here? Okay, so inserting content from other sources. So um, this is very useful. There is ability to go ahead and uh, inserting uh, spreadsheets, physio diagrams, tables, screen clippings, pictures, online pictures. So I've done this a few. So we actually, I've these images here that I pulled in are actually pulled in from uh, just accessing an online picture library that's available via OneNote. Um, so you don't have to really worry about copyright infringement. They're all there from Bing. Uh, so you can go on there and have access to that. Uh, you can go ahead and create audio files or audio or video files. I won't show you a video file myself, but I'll show you the audio. Um, here's an audio file that I recorded earlier. Let's see if you can hear that. I'm not sure if you hear that or not since I had my headset on, but um, it's an audio file that's, uh, that's available. Uh, the, uh, the screen clipping, very easy. So you basically, it's a lot like if any of you use applications, the, the window snipping tool or the maybe snag it as a third party, uh, you click on screen clipping and that will go ahead and immediately drop a window and you can actually go and grab anything you want. And it'll go ahead and insert that directly into your OneNote. So I drop that in. It's very easy to use. And uh, if you insert tables, you start to insert tables and realize, you know what? I actually want to have and convert this to Excel. You can easily go ahead, select that, right click and convert to Excel spreadsheet. And that'll very easily change that. Oops, pull this back up again. <laughs> to a spreadsheet. So you can see that's actually converted the table to a spreadsheet. So uh, very easy to use, uh, very easy. Uh, same thing with uh, bringing in uh, Excel files as well. So if you want to do that, or if you actually want to go ahead and just start by bringing in, um, you can go ahead and just dump the Visio files and it'll create or Excel files and actually create that dropper right in there like the like this table. You can easily start manipulating it. So um, very, uh, very easy to use. Okay. So getting down here, so accessibility. So how can I access the various OneNote feature or the OneNote itself? Uh, you can go through it via the Microsoft Office desktop, like I'm showing you here. Uh, they have the cloud option, so you can go to OneNote.com. And once you have your credentials verified, you'll see all your OneNotes being, all your OneNote notebooks notes being available. Uh, the Office 365 suite, so as you log in from an Office 365 standpoint, um, you'll get a window that looks like this. If you guys, any of you are using Office 365 now, um, you'll know what this looks like, and you can launch it from here. Uh, and obviously, you are able to um, access it uh, via your mobile application. So we have uh, the app from, from the App Store. We have the app from for Android from Google Play. And we also what we also have is we have the Teams option. So you're able to uh, view notebooks via and add notebooks to Microsoft Teams. So um, I'm going to go ahead and launch my Teams app here quickly and show you how you can actually add a notebook easily with a Microsoft Teams. So for those of you that use Teams or familiar with Teams, uh, you can go within the actual uh, set up your groups and your teams, and then you have your channels. Things going to respond. There we go. So I actually have one here that I built earlier. So we have a demo right here. And so um, when you have your teams channel, there's a variety of very powerful ways of adding lots of different features with the functionality of your teams. And one of those is adding a OneNote notebook. So when you add the notebook, you have a variety of where you want to save it. Um, you can actually toggle whether or not you want to post an alert that the OneNote has been uh, added, basically. So you can post that, and that'll send a message out to everyone who's in the channel. Um, so I'll go ahead and just select this. 
click save, and let's go ahead and basically create a notebook. So right here, so I basically added this notebook and then can I begin to, here's the webinar demo. And then you can start to add notes. And we're gonna add everything you need to do. And this will be tied to this team and this channel in Teams. So um, very useful. So very, a variety of ways you can really use OneNote in various ways and access in various locations. So, all right, that, let's see, we've got about a few minutes left. Um, so that concludes my presentation for today. Um, so I will pass it back to Amanda and see if we have uh, any questions. Great. Thanks so much, Rich. We have a question here. Uh, it's referring to keyboard shortcuts. This one specifically wants to know what the keyboard shortcut to get to Quick Notes is. So Quick Notes, basically, you can go ahead and it's the Windows key. So if you know what the Windows key looks like on your screen. So the Windows key plus the letter N. So if you click both of those, it will go ahead and launch the Quick Note. And that's when you can actually launch and go ahead and start typing in whatever text you want. Great. And then we have another one saying, can I open notebooks from multiple OneDrive accounts? From multiple OneDrive accounts. Um, at one, if you're in one particular session, um, so if you go back here and opening notebooks here, so if you have, you, can, you have the ability to add multiple locations. So if you have different OneDrives under different accounts, then yes, you're able to easily open notebooks from those multiple OneDrives. Great, another one here says, can you password protect just one page or just an entire tab? Uh, you can actually, you can see. So what I was replicating was you can go through and try to password the section uh, and should be able to go through and password protect pages. I actually have never tried to password protect a page, um, but what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, I actually do not know if that's possible. Um, I've always protected sections and not actually looked at uh, creating a password protecting actual pages within the section. So I am not sure if that is actually possible or not. But that's something that I can, uh, whoever has that question, I'll be happy to follow up with you. We can send you a note, a note of that uh, after the call. Great. And then we just have time for one more. And we will email the rest of you directly with answers to your questions. But for this one, we'll take, can you insert or link to emails? Uh, yeah. I wish I could demonstrate for you right now. But again, I've got the, I've got an issue right now with my Outlook and uh, my Outlook and, and Notebook, OneNote not synchronizing or behaving very well. So if I try and do it, it's going to give me a, an error message. Um, so I'd be happy to uh, send instructions on how we can do that uh, uh, as a follow-up. Great. Well, that's all the time we have to, for today's session. So we thank you all for attending today's webinar. We welcome your questions and feedback. And for more information, you can email us at contact at advisacon.com. Once you exit today's webinar, you will receive a survey on the presentation, and you will need to complete this survey and submit it in order to receive your PDUs. From there, you will receive a follow-up email within two business days with your PDU information. If you're watching this recording on YouTube or another social media platform, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And on behalf of AdviseCon, Richard, and myself, we thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you participate in our future webinars. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.